Hey guys, and welcome to Home Theater 101. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, a particular feature that you probably want to look for when you're buying a home theater receiver. Um, and it gets more complicated than this. You can really, really get into spending big money and getting massive systems that, you know, do more than I would ever need them to do. Uh, so really, my focus is on mid-range audio. Mid-range audio is, you know, speakers that are going to be more than $500 for a set, but definitely under $10,000 a set. So that's a pretty wide range. Uh, but finding something that's good quality and, and does some basic things is kind of what I look for and probably what you'll want to look for. Uh, now, this is a Denon X2000 uh, amplifier, and um, it is not the top of the line, okay? It is, you know, a pretty, uh, you know, it's, it's a good quality amplifier. And now they've got a newer one out that's rated for 4K and all that good stuff. But what I wanted to touch on today is what's called an audio return channel. Audio return channel um, is an HDMI port, and what it does, it allows the uh, everything that goes through your TV to go through your amplifier. And uh, sorry, that's bear making a little noise there. Um, but everything goes through the amplifier that comes through the TV. So anytime you change the input on your TV, your audio automatically changes. So you don't have to go switching from you know, you get to change the input on your TV and then change the input on your amplifier. Or have it just all run through your amplifier and do all the switching there. Um, this is just the simplest way i found to do it. And um, what happens is you, you plug in your uh, HDMI cable on the audio return channel, and this is provided both your TV and your amplifier have this. Okay, so we'll go to inputs, and um, we'll go to input select, oh, and see audio return channel there. Um, but uh, let me let's see, I'm really screwing this video up here. Um, video is where I want to go, sorry about that. Uh, so you go to HDMI setup, and this is going to be different, like if you get a different amplifier but it's got audio return channel on it, um, it'll still be the basic, you're, you're still going to go through the basic motions, um, and that's basically enabling HDMI setup, um, you know, like for this one it's called HDMI control, you click that to on. Um, and then you do the same thing for your TV. Once you do that and you've got it plugged into the ARC channel on both your TV and your amplifier, then everything starts working together. Now, here's what's cool about this. Uh, I'm going to go and turn this TV off and um, what happens is my amp turns off. Okay, I didn't turn my amp off. My amp just turned off by itself um, from the TV turning off. So it makes it to where at night you don't have to go shutting down everything. Um, and so, and, and again, I change the inputs on my TV and everything works out good. So um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this before I get some uh, copyright content going on here. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And uh, please comment and please subscribe.